Located in the Nanyan Technological University, NTU Community Herb Garden is a hidden gem for those who are fond of herbs and gardening. Visitors who are interested to learn more about herbs would be amazed to see a plethora of herbs information from the common to the rare species, all arranged nicely along the side wall of the reception office. The garden was founded in 2009 by a former technician at NTU's Office of Development and Facilities Management, Mr. Ng Kim Chuan. Uncle Ng, as how most people address him, initially started the garden together with other NTU volunteers because of his interest in gardening. However, after losing his brother to lymphoma, a cancer that attacks the immune system, he began reading up more about Chinese herbs and started to plant some herbs at the garden for people's uses. The garden has been consistently providing alternative treatment options to patients with various illnesses, ranging from cancers to Parkinson's disease. Over 500 patients have come down to the herb garden regularly to collect herbs for their remedies. Being developed within a two-acre plot, the NTU Community Herb Garden has served as a home for over 200 species of tropical plants and herbs, with most having natural healing properties. Among hundreds of species of herbs at the garden, Saba snakegrass is the most highly demanded herb by patients who are undergoing cancer therapy, mainly because of its medicinal potential in reducing cancer markers which denote the presence of cancer. In order to raise public awareness on the use of medicinal herbs, a number of outreach programs have been done such as the Herb Garden Trail as well as informational talks on herbs. Such programs have attracted people of different backgrounds, including a cancer support group from hospital, which consisted of cancer patients and medical practitioners as the attendees. Well, the activity here is actually very interesting. I learned a lot about herbs, uh, how to cure uh, those people who are suffering from cancer, especially from the case colon cancer. And also learn how to improve our immune system on the very soap that can be found locally. And some of them are even planted at my house, the HTB Common Corridor. Oh, actually overall I find the activity is very good. It gives us a lot of knowledge on different herbs on different functions. Before coming, actually got no idea. Uh, the herbs actually got a lot of functions. Yeah. As the herbal plants can be collected free of charge, public donations are indispensable in sustaining the garden, which has been benefiting many people. More details on the garden's operating hours, direction, and other inquiries are available on our Facebook page, NTU Community Herb Garden. And for more insightful videos on herbs and activities at our herb garden, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at NTU Community Herb Garden.